The Piazza Navona is the most perfect public square in the world. Of course, it's not a square, it's an elongated oval, and that's because it was once a racetrack, a Roman racetrack, and you can just about imagine that all of these buildings along the sides started out as stands for the fans, and then over the years were built on and built on, and eventually became the piazza we know today in the 16th century. Speaking of the 16th century, here's the Fountain of the Four Rivers by Bernini, Church of San Agnese by Boromino, Fountains by Della Porta that you can't see because of the Christmas fair, but one on each end of the piazza, of course lined with restaurants. Here is the River Danube. The Rio de la Plata of South America. With, <laughs> with a seagull on top of his head. The Nile with another seagull. It's that season. And around the corner, the Ganges. Lined with restaurants. We'll see the Ganges there. And of course, an actual Egyptian obelisk. The Romans loved their obelisks that they stole from ancient Egypt and uh, re-erected them in Rome. The popes loved their obelisks from ancient Rome and re-erected them all over the city in the 15th, 16th, 17th centuries. The Christmas market opens tomorrow. There are a few people getting set up today. This is November 30th, December 1st. The festivities kick off. There's Della Porta's fountain. He didn't do the uh, sculpture with the seagull. The sculpture was added later. Della Porta's other fountain on the south side of the piazza, which is out of sight because of the uh, merry-go-round, has a sculpture added by Bernini. What a space. The Piazza Navona, the spirit of Rome.